Here's another accessory for the Gazelle line of tents, and this is the Gazelle Footprint. The Gazelle T4 Plus and T8 size tents. So what is a footprint? Well, historically with every tent I've ever had, it's either been a backpacking tent that's had a small ground sheet that's carried with the tent, or I've added a tarp to my car camping tents. And this is merely to protect the tub of the tent from the ground, from rocks, sticks, uh, basically anything that would pierce or wear away at the bottom of the tent. But also importantly, a footprint, a tarp, or ground sheet should also keep moisture from coming up from underneath the tent through the tub of your tent. A footprint, a tarp, or a ground sheet should be designed to keep as much moisture as possible from reaching the underside of the tent. The carry bag for the T8 and T4 Plus footprint from Gazelle is actually quite excellent. It's got a drawstring at the top, it's made of sort of a nylon material on one side, and then you have sort of a screen material on the other side, which is great because as you fold this up and you're leaving your campsite, this will probably be damp. You probably be keeping this separate from the rest of your tent to keep your tent dry, but this will kind of allow it to dry, dry out. It'll let dust and dirt and sand and all sorts of other things to fall out uh, as you fold up the tent and pack it away and transport it. The carry bag is actually well sized. I've never had a problem folding and then unfolding the ground sheet and folding it back up again to get it in the carry bag. So why a footprint instead of a tarp? What's the difference? Well. Usually I use heavy duty tarps. They're heavy, they don't fold back quite as evenly and as flat as something that you might see here. This footprint is made of the exact same material. I think it's a 300 denier uh, material. Uh, it's the same material that the tubs of the Gazelle tents are made from. It's a decently tough material. It seems durable without being too thick. It's pretty lightweight for what it is and it is a waterproof material. A footprint is usually perfectly sized for the underside of the tent without sticking out. And also importantly, where it can be staked into the ground will match up with where you stake your tent into the ground. So you only have to use one set of stakes. So unfolded, you've got two sides of the footprint here. And one side is shinier, and this is sort of the waterproof side, the seam sealed, seam taped side. The other side is sort of the more typical material um, that you'd be used to on the outside of a gazelle tent or a gazelle tub. And each corner has a tie down point. Um, this is a stitched uh, nylon webbing tie down point. Uh, it's got a loop at the end and it's pretty well stitched into the corner there. And then of course, each seam is seam sealed or seam taped. And then there's a uh, corded loop that's tied at one end. Lengthwise, the footprint measures out at exactly 158 inches long for the part of the footprint, which is the waterproof material that doesn't include the tie down straps. For the width of the footprint material, it's just shy of 89 inches. So it's really like 88 and three quarters inches. The nylon part of the corner tie downs and the side tie downs extends about one and three quarters inches from the very corner of the tarp. Then from the edge of the nylon webbing, you've got the, tie, the actual tie down itself it extends about another four and three quarters inches at its maximum. So there's about six and a half inches from the corner of the footprint diagonally to the maximum location where you could stake it down. So each corner has a tie down point. And we'll sort of walk around real quick here to show you. There's the other corner and then halfway down the middle, same as you would have with the tent, there's also a tie down point for the footprint and that's how it is seam taped and stitched. Now if we look again at one of these corners or the edges of the footprint, you can see that the material is folded back on itself and rolled and then stitched, double stitched 
there are actually two seams in the middle of the fabric. So if I zoom out here a little bit, you can see how large this is. And about a third of the way, we have a seam running down lengthwise, or widthwise, I suppose, all the way down the footprint. And that is seam taped. And then we also have another one, another third of the way down. So there's two of these down the middle. You can see for these seams, the way that they are stitched. Again, it's sort of the same as the edge where it's rolled over on one end. And then on the other end, that's also rolled over. And then those are double stitched together and then seam taped all the way across. So pretty durable. So erecting the tent on a footprint is really easy. The footprint really does an admirable job of not bunching up or sliding around when you're erecting the tent on it. But once you've got the footprint, and what I've done is I've sort of evenly spaced out the footprint as best as I can. Obviously it's not staked out right here. What we're gonna be left with is that the sort of outermost portion of the loop lines up pretty well perfectly with the grommet that's in the stake down points on the tent. Well, it does not extend past the edges of the tent. It really, you kind of have to actually lift up the tent here to see. You can see that it doesn't come all the way to the edge of the tent. Now, on a gazelle, that's not necessary because this part of the edge of the tent, there's no tub floor right here. This is sort of, you've got the tub floor Velcroing in right here, but then it, it goes in towards the floor, whereas this is extending out towards the edge of the tent. This will wick moisture away. So you don't really need the footprint to come all the way to the edge. But if we lift up a side of the tent, you can see here is our tub floor, and here's our footprint. So the footprint does a pretty good job of coming out to where the edge of the tub floor actually is and what the usable tub floor will actually be. So you're not really gonna be stepping on the sides of your tub. Uh, and so really this does an excellent job of covering the areas where you're actually gonna be putting pressure on the bottom of the tent with your feet and with your gear. The footprint, at least for the T8 and T4, does come with six of these wire stakes. I would really just use the standard stakes that come with the Gazelle or the optional all-terrain stakes that you can get with Overland Edition tents or buy separately.